Essa, you fool. <laughs> My good friend, I will answer that. He's saying, why the blankety blank? Why he needs to use swear words to make his point, I don't know. Why we use the Chinese god of war as the bad guy. FYI, sir, through my extensive research when writing My Name is Bruce, the Chinese do in fact that the god of war is the protector of the dead and bean curd. He was a former bean curd seller I'm not making this up. That's why. So the Chinese, we figured Chinese miners, when a, there was a grave collapse, killed a bunch of Chinese miners, the grave is protected by Guan Di, who is nine feet tall, has a flowing white beard, red eyes, and he'll lock your head off. So, so shut your face and sit down <laughs> with your wrestler that nobody knows who he is. Yes, yeah, over here. Yeah, sort of middle-ish, yeah. Which one would I most like to have a beer with? Oh, Sam Axe, for sure. Sam Axe is me with different dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't sleep with as many women. Yes, over here. You watch Man with the Screaming Brain. You're it, you're here, you're the one right here today. Yeah. You, were, you were wondering, shot in Bulgaria, where they have packs of wild dogs, Quick reminder. <laughs> if I could do what with Sam Raimi? <laughs> oh, if I could share his brain? No, I'll just take his money. I don't need his brain. <laughs> he can have his filthy little brain. I think I've answered that question. <laughs> Okay, hat, hat waving back there, yes. So many women see me as a sex symbol. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw me in People Magazine, did you? parking lot after the show. <laughs> yes, right here. A character I've ever wanted to play? No. No, only because I, I don't know, there's too many random ideas out there. It's just fun to try and take whatever excellent scripts like Congo come across and just <laughs> try and do the best you can in Mikhail's Navy and Assault on Dome 4 and, you know, the good scripts. That's the real challenge, try and make it, make it workable. Yes. Oh, it's his question. She's raising for you. All right, all right. What's your favorite beer? My favorite beer? I don't drink beer. We can talk tequila, but not beer. No. But saying that to a Canadian, I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult the essence of why you get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> He doesn't drink beer, oh my god. <laughs> Be still my heart. Yes. Yes, you. Did Sam Raimi say anything about the intro, my intro to If Gins Could Kill? Can I see that book for a second? Yeah. Thank you. We're going to clarify this right now. <laughs> get this worked out. Thank you. You might get this back. <laughs> The intro, you're saying, would he have a problem? Did he have a problem with my intro? All right, let's check. Introduction, you're talking about the foreword by Ivan and Sam Raimi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Why would they slam themselves? Because you don't know Sam Raimi. <laughs> I know, but that's why they did it. They made them, 
a woman came up to me at a book signing, had the same question. She goes, why would you be in business with Sam Raimi? I go, what do you mean? He seems like such an unsavory character. <laughs> I'm like, he wrote the intro himself, ma'am. Why would he say such horrible things about himself? She was very disturbed. And I can see that you are too. You're very disturbed, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take like two final questions that are amazing, groundbreaking, deep, probing, non-Evil Dead 4 questions. You have a question, yes ma'am. Yes, are you ever planning to write or direct another movie? Why ever write or direct another movie? Why are you so close to the stage? Uh, I, I don't know because I have to get money for the movies. Hey, you look familiar. This is Tamara Gorski, oh my god. She was in Hercules as Morgan! Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't know. Step away from the stage, please. I said a good question. Sure, try one over there. Do I see a long, fruitful collaboration with Ted Raimi? Has it been fruitful yet? <laughs> I don't know. I work with him because Sam's not available. Oh. No, Ted I love. I think Ted's great. I hope I continue to waste investors' money with movies with him in it <laughs> for years to come. Yeah, All right, in closing, I want to say this, folks. You have a choice of where you can spend your money. I appreciate that you spend a lot of your money on stuff that I did because it's okay to have, to support movies that aren't mainstream. The idea of making B movies and genre movies and sci-fi movies is, they're different. They're just different. So, I wanna thank you for supporting the, that alternative form of entertainment because, you know, you people are very different than the average person. You're more enlightened and uh, smarter. And, better looking, with bigger boobs, the whole deal. <laughs> so, thank you for supporting that, because otherwise my kid couldn't go to college right now. So, thanks a lot, thanks for coming, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Woo!